G'day. Uh, welcome back to the channel. But if it is your first time, you've tuned into the Pedal Picassos. I'm Rod. Thanks for doing so. Um, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Drop a comment in below. Um, thanks to Ken and Michelle at Port Lincoln Music World. This should be your rig for 2024. This is the Mua GTRS system. It is a Bluetooth wireless guitar. Uh, it's a quality instrument. It's a Strat style, humbucker two single coils, standard five way switching, but you've got a magic knob here. So USB charged. This can select from dozens of amps, cabs, and combinations of effects. It's got a looper, uh, access to a looper, drum machine, tuner, you name it. Hardware looks good. Looks like a roasted maple neck, rosewood style fingerboard that's quite wide and flat, uh, and jumbo frets. I'm connected to, and I'll unplug it here so you can see it, wireless dongle. That's it there. Comes with this uh, particular version of the guitar. This is the top of the line. Um, normally retailing about 1800. I think uh, Paul Lincoln Music World have got it listed at 1500 and they're going to do a deal um, through the channel and there'll be a link below where you can get a, a quite a crazy deal on this. There's a foot a switch um, that I'm pointing to here as well. It's a very small but very solid um, four button switch and it's not it's not just your uh, normal everyday foot switch. It's got quite a bit packed into the bag for a little unit. Right, I'm going to plug this back in. So forgive me while I don't knock everything over. But there we go. We're back on track. Right, oh, I've dialed up four sounds quite easily here. Um, I'm screen recording on my phone, um, so that'll be part of the playback material, but I've got it down here where you can see it as well, where I'll be pointing to things. The smart knob can do a couple of things at this stage. It's got the ability to cycle through four patches that I've dialed up. All right, so. One A is a clean one. some reverb and some delay. Bit of modulation on there as well. Next one, 1B. One so I'm just pushing this button, it's advancing what's on the foot switch as well. Bit of more of a bluesy tone. Next one being quite raunchy high gain. And 1D is another solo tone that I'll put together. Right, how much fun can you have with your pants on? Lots. With this particular device, I'm I'm actually um, not, not blown away, but my good friend Matt Peter Fry says we live in the future and as guitarists we are so fortunate to have so much choice. I think when Moore came onto the scene with uh, mini pedals, micro pedals, um, yeah, I've got one, I've got a couple of them up here, but um, you know, it's over a decade ago, probably 15 years ago, where they started releasing things like this, you know, this, this little thing. Um, many versions of pedals and people went, oh wow, what a great space saver, if only they sound, sounded good. A lot of the stuff that Moore put out sounded really good. Moore have, have, have built something here that sounds very, very good and it's very gig worthy. If you're a gigging guitarist, I've got no hesitation in saying what an incredible way to go to a gig. If you want four tones, if you want 16 tones to get you through a night, you can access them through here and this this foot switch they're not rinky dink tones either and I'll, i'm just going to delve into this and show you a couple of things one thing i really dig about this knob is you can use it actually to select um, between your tones but if you've got your foot switch to do that with 
then you can assign the GTRS knob to do something else. Let's have a look. In uh, On board, you touch the knob here and you get access to um, all your presets um, and editing your presets. So hitting GTRS will take us back. Let's go into um, the output mode or the master settings mode. So you've got uh, controls there for the mix, the guitar, for the USB out and for Bluetooth. All right. Let's um, go back into settings once more. And you've got a selection here from all of your amps. If I select an amp here, what have we got? We've got the US Deluxe, a Tweed, um, a Bassman, a Sonic, um, a Blues, Blues OD, um, E6050, a Powerball, um, Black Knights, Mark, there's Mesa Boogies, um, there's Orange, there's Triple Rectifiers, uh, Dr. Z's, you name it. Um, Marshall Series of 900s, um, 30s, 15s, uh, so AC 30s, High Watts, PVs, heaps, heaps. Also cabinets that you can get to select with, with those as well. Select between singles, 412s, 212s, um, and those that are branded and named. Okay, with your um, with your boosts, uh, you've got a selection between two clean boosts or pure boosts. ODs you can select between tube, uh, an 808. Uh, there's there's a Clon, a D Drive, uh, Jimmy would be a Timmy, uh, full DR, uh, BB uh, BB preamp and BB plus. And so on, you get the drill, you get the drill, you get the same with your um, with your compressor, you've got options for a, uh, a comp, touch wah, auto wah, um, if we go to our, our modulations, phases, flanges, tremolos, rotaries, choruses, you name it, you name it, and same with delays and reverbs, but we digress, if we go to and if I can find, if I can navigate my way back around here, um, we can go to our output mode. Okay, so you can select between monitoring and headphones, straight into an amp, or into a mixing console straight into the door like I'm doing right now. Your super knob mode, super knob. At the moment, I've got it so I'm switching between patches, right? 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D. So you get four patches. But if I'm using my foot switch to be able to do that, I can assi assign the super knob to tone capture. I right know, what's that you say? I will show you. Right, okay. The super knob has in it super knob mode, tone capture, boom, boom. Let's go settings. Um, oh, bear with me because I, I, I was I was right there with it. Whilst we're in the settings screen, um, you've got a tuner, and you can have it so it's silent as well. Cool. All right, tuner mode. All right, so if our super knob is, is now um, in tone capture mode and the selections that we can choose from here, okay, we go back to the standard pickup mode in the shade of blue, all right? But if I switch it over to purple, this is now giving me a tone capture of a 58 Les Paul. There's the difference. Which is very cool because in my second slot, I've put um, 
I've actually put a, a strat and I'll go back to a clean tone. Because in that in that split, first split, you'd like to have a funky strat tone. So I'm going from a 58 Les Paul style pickup now to a combination of strat pickups. My middle one I've assigned as a as a telly. Which is very cool. My uh, neck and middle pickups are once again are a strat combination. And my neck pickup is, is a Les Paul style again. And what's even better is you can balance these pickups by by adjusting their EQ and their gain. So you've got settings for this. So you can have uh, the, the, the gain settings that you want for each individual pickup tone capture. Well, that for me is, is incredibly huge. So this on blue is without tone capture. Just still a good tone with tone capture, in this instance the Les Paul. I love that. That's tone capture mode. This is without tone capture mode. Listen to the brightness. It's got spank with it. Telly. And then strat, strat once again. back to a Les Paul. That for me is a winner. Uh, I'd, I've tested a lot of gear, tried a lot of gear over the past you know, four or five years on this channel. For me, this is probably the best bit of kit that I've tried because I can see using it at a gig, taking this, taking the wireless thing with it, taking that little four, um, four switch pedal with it. And how cool is this? Um, lights up. Look at that. Look at that. It says GTRS. Wow. Things. That's good. Um, not only, whilst we're still on this, on the foot switch, you see that LED is flashing very brightly um, and very fast. I go to my next patch. Oh, Matt, you're going to hate me for the um, the lack of uh, noise cancellation. I'm just going to go into the, uh, the split pickups here. But we've still got some noise. And I'll go to a tone that has actually got some delay. So, light switching, the blue light switching on the pedal. Tap tempo. How good is that? That's automatically assigned as a tap tempo for your delay. I 
reckon that's so cool. Righto, let's go back to the software. Um, because, in amongst other things, you've got the ability to work with the drum machine. How cool. Awesome practice tool. Um, you got chord identifiers here as well. What a great little tool. We've already shown the mixer section. Uh, we've already shown other parts of this. You've got a looper mode as well. God. Um, let's go. Let's go record. <laughs> Fun for days. Update your software version, save patches. Uh, if we're going into edit mode again, write a patch, save it, save whatever you want. Um, EJR lead, this was a patch that was a Eric Johnson lead tone, I suppose. <laughs> um, you want to edit that a little bit yourself. Maybe Maybe take some of the gain um, out of the amp, just a little bit, and save that. I'm going to save that to 1D again. Okay, great, done. Simple, easy as that. Um, you can rename the patch as well. I, as I said, I, I've stumbled across some good bits of music gear um, over the last five years and when testing stuff for the channel. This has got to be um, a game changer. Once again, um, thanks to Ken and Michelle at Port Lincoln Music World, where music is your world. They, they have a special offer on this through the channel. Uh, it's a limited time only. Click on the link below and that'll take you to um, where you'll find a really super deal on this. As I said, it's a quality instrument regardless of, of everything that's attached to it. Um, I, I think it should be your rig for 2024. Comes in a, a padded bag. It's got um, uh, hardware and software with it. It's got a great tremolo system. Um, it comes with a, a, a truss rod spanner in it as well, some Allen keys. Um, really thought out and, a, and a, um, a really good padded bag as well. Uh, I, I can't I can't bang on enough about this um, so check it out and and thanks for tuning in we'll catch up with you next time yeah See you next time.